game changing. It's ignited passion not only in myself, but the teachers I'm working with. Um, and it's just been a very exciting time to be in education. Professional development. Well, um, when Liberty started its journey um, in really seeking out and using open ed resources, um, it was centered on the professional development of teachers in 612 science and 612 social studies. And that was kind of our entry point. So we recognized that the value of um, the resource was not necessarily in the tool itself, but in the conversation that the teachers were having around developing or finding um, the proper resource to, to teach the standards that they were trying to identify. Probably respectful. And I say that because uh, that's one of the first words I hear uh, our teachers say uh, when they talk about the project. Um, they many times have said that it feels like for the first time I'm being respected as a professional educator and um, that I'm being empowered uh, to, to do this thinking and to do this work. Amazing potential, really. I think that the, uh, the potential to shift funds from the purchase of content to other areas that support learning and teaching, the potential to uh, provide equitable access to strong content materials for all students, and, and the potential for teachers to um, have the ability to adapt material to meet student needs. It's, uh, it's an exciting time. OER is empowering. It's empowering for teachers, it's empowering for students. Uh, it gives folks the freedom to find learning materials to coordinate their opportunities that they, that they have in their classrooms. For teachers, it empowers them to find lessons in, in units um, of particular interest and at the particular level of the students in their classrooms. Uh, boxed curriculum can't do that, it's, it's static. Uh, OER curriculum is dynamic. For students, it empowers students to engage in materials that are directly related to the information that they seek at that point in time. 